Engineers, hello. If you are afraid of machine control because you are worried that it is going to get rid of your job, don't. I am here to ease your fears and tell you a little bit about machine control and exactly how it can help you and why you should be embracing it with open arms. <laughs> yeah, don't know why I did that. So first up, what is machine control? Well, it's a machine being controlled. Duh. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, machine control is the ability to have a GPS kit installed onto an excavator or a dozer. And then inside the cab, you've got a computer which has the model on, which essentially is what you would have on your GPS kit or your total station. And what that does is that information is fed through to the machine so that the driver knows exactly where they're digging, how deep they need to be digging, all based off a model put in and connectors and sensors that are placed actually onto the machine. And it's all connected up via GPS. Now, as an engineer working for 15 years or so on site as a setting out engineer and surveyor, I didn't really like the idea of machine control because I wanted my job to always be there. And whilst I absolutely loved running around knocking pins in, the job came with huge frustrations. So hear me out. Just recently, um, I was taken onto a housing site where they'd got an excavator with a tilt and rotating bucket and machine control fitted. Now this is the actual first time, which is insane to think about, that I have seen machine control used for footings on housings. Why? Well, the argument has always been it's too expensive. Just have an engineer, you're gonna have an engineer who's based on site or is running two or three sites. He marks out, he, he or she marks out the plots. That's all you need. The cost does not warrant putting machine control on an excavator. But that's not the case because there are so many advantages to having models put onto a machine control and not needing an engineer to set out. So for example, when I used to work in housing, I used to have probably one, maybe two, sometimes three sites. I'd be running around like crazy with these sites, pe pegging out houses, putting pins in for them to dig the footings. And I don't care how good an engineer you are, this always happens. You put your pins out, uh, something will happen on the job, so they don't end up digging those footings that morning. And then in the afternoon, someone's gonna knock a pin out. The excavator driver just continues to dig where the line that he thinks should be. And what happens is when you go back to put your pins out, even if you do offset, even if you do offsets, this happen. Uh, to put your pins in for the bricklayers, you find out that the footings aren't right and they're slightly off. You have to redig, put more concrete in. But what you also find is that the footings are not really that accurate either because spray lines get lost. There's always an overdig. Now, with machine control, as you can see on site here, you don't have that problem because you're using the right size bucket. It's telling you exactly where to dig. It's telling you how deep to dig. That's right. So you haven't got to have someone with a laser and a staff constantly checking the dig, which to be honest with you never happens. As soon as you kind of get a level, the machine driver just go with that. And it causes a huge amount of wasted, amount of wasted in time for over dig. So the spoil that you've then got to get rid of, you've then got extra concrete. Concrete these days is so goddamn expensive. So any QSs out there that don't believe in machine control for housing, there's no argument. It's gonna save you money. The investment of having it on the machine and time and effort saved is huge. So as an engineer, you shouldn't be worried because what you actually should be thinking about is how can I help aid this and how is it gonna help me with my job? Well, you're not gonna be running around sites forever pinning out housing. But what you are gonna be doing is spend a little bit more time in the office going through the drawings, creating the CAD models. So this is where you kind of need to switch up and this is where you need to focus on. So getting all the drawings from the start of the job, working out your footings, because uh, normally you're only gonna get coordinates for the outside or the inside, and then you do offsets in the field with your kit. Well, that could be something that you now do on CAD. You're also gonna be needed, most likely, to load these up onto the machine, because the machine drivers will know how to use a model and how to dig, but they're not necessarily gonna know how to put it on the machine. You're also gonna want support and clarification that they're using the right model, and that everything's going honky-dory. So you are still needed, but just imagine this. Imagine a time when you are not smashing in pins on a housing site or pegs 
for plots. You're not being called back because 10 minutes after leaving site, someone's knocked out a pin and they're not sure exactly what where it's supposed to be, or you're not gonna be coming back getting really frustrated because the site manager's pissed off because the, they've dug the concrete and now the pins for the brickwork can't go on because they've done it wrong. All of this is gonna be eradicated. So site, time, money, sorted. Your job, less stressful. <sighs> so engineers, fear not, your job is safe, but please, please, please go and embrace machine control. Show this to your bosses, show this to the project manager, show this to the QS. It is the future of setting out for like footings, foundations, even drainage. I'm gonna do a video on drainage because I think it's gonna be a game changer. All right, go down, write in the description any comments. I'm sure you guys have got loads. Um, and don't forget to hit the subscribe and I'll be back real soon.